everyone. First of all, I would like to thank, say thanks to the Northeast Students Organization and to the KSU, the Kashi Students Union, and the HYNF and the other students organizations from various Northeast or Northeastern region. Before I start my speech, let me allow to introduce myself. My name is Songtam Tangamba Mite, the president of the Silong Manipuri Students Union Silong, SMSU. It is very fortunate that the NESWA has taken this step to show the solidarity towards the Manipur, not just based on the particular community, but for the whole Northeastern region. We feel the pain the same way like the other community feels. The other community feels maybe more or less, but we from the homestead, we feel more, we feel sad. We feel so sorry for our brothers and sisters that we cannot do anything, but we can at least pray to God that this longings of peace be prevailed soon. But this peace cannot be prevailed alone by the speech, by such demonstration, but by our action we have to. We have to let the government, state government or the central government must know that we are also a part of India. If not, then what are you doing right now? The brothers, the sisters, the mothers, the fathers, the small kids, the youths are being displaced. They are becoming homeless. No educations are given. They are staying in the relief camp. And this is not just for one community, for what the community is I'm talking about. We concerned. We concerned for the whole Manipur. I am here, not just for Mete, but for Manipur. That includes the whole of the religions or the particular ethnic groups that exist in Manipur. We really condemn the attitude, the behavior of the government, the competent authority. Why can't they solve the problem? Yes, saying is easy. We understand that. But there must be a solution. How long it will go on? Since from May. So shall we say this government is the competent authority? As my personal view. I should say no because of their action. Come with a solution. Bring the border communities to a dialogue. It's the time for reconciliation. It's time for compassion. Not to blame one another. Stop saying the full parts from one community to another community and then burning the fire more. Don't put fuel to the fire for all the communities. And I am very much thankful today that apart from the weekdays, the busy schedules of a student, different dignitaries, different members are coming here to stand for Manipur. And here in Silong, we are trying our best not to have any kind of violence. That is our promise. And we consider that being here is not just for creating a problem for one community, but it's for the whole region. So maybe a problem arises, we can solve it out. We can solve it out together. We can come together instead of blaming one another. 
there must be a solution. So let's find out the solution. And then the government, why we have to say the government? Because they are the authority now. If they don't do, if they cannot do, then give us the power. We'll solve it out. Why is so incompetent? Because we, we, we feel, we feel the sadness, we feel the sorrows that our mother, fathers, our brotherhood, sisterhood are living there. We, we can feel it. We understand it. Though we cannot be physically be available there, but from the heart, it's pinching. It, 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 it just pains. We feel that. So this painful must be removed away sooner or the later otherwise things may come up so ugly things that may be planned by somebody else let's fight together as a northeastern region irrespective of community caste region let's move forward and say that we are one and that we will always fight for the cause. We must stand for the right or for the righteous. Let's not fall back for the fools because fools will never stay long. The fullness, the lies will never stay long. One day or sooner will always be wiped away by the truth. The truth will prevail always as we say the truth will trumps so by saying this word a few words let me say thanks again to the organization nation chairman's respected chair and the other dignitaries of the different organization and from the students organization that let's stand together for better tomorrow thank you and i salute to you all thank you so much Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am so shocked. I am so uh, very feeling sad to stand here because in Manipur, as we all know, six months have passed and the situation in Manipur has been so bad. We all know that. I am Thangzalin Dongan, the president of the Kuki Student Organization. I am representing my people here in Shillong to address the negligence or the ignorance of the central government towards the suffering and the killing of innocent lives in Manipur. The primary objective of any government is to protect the rights of the people, to serve the people. But now we have seen that the central government has not taken any positive steps to neutralize or control the situation out there in Manipur. We all know the conflict starts in May 3rd. Six months have been passed. And even right now also many people, young, youngsters, young kids, all men and women have been spending a very, very sad life so to say there are thousands of people who have been displaced and they are right now confined in concentrated camps more than 200 villages have been burned uprooted and more than 200 people have been killed and thousands of students have been left astray they are dropped out from school or colleges because of the non-functioning of their institution so even the situation has been up to the peak level, but the central government has remained a mute spectator. They are busy with certain things. They are busy with uh, outside the state, like Israel has been in conflict with uh, Palestine. They are concerned with all those external things not concerning the situation out there in Manipur. So we are so shocked because of the negligence or because of the ignorance of the central government for not catering the demands made by the citizens of the people living in Manipur. We want peace, but to 
to let peace prevail, there are si several situations that has to be met. There's so many complex situations happening in Manipur that this allows peace to prevail in Manipur, uh, which I would like uh, all of you to uh, do a research on how peace cannot be brought into Manipur. All these things comes up and all these things because of the underlying situation that happens in Manipur, peace is not prevailing in Manipur. So for all this uh, underlying or hidden agenda, when it is exposed or when it is, it is solved, we hope that peace will be prevailing in Manipur. As the previous speaker have already mentioned, if the central government is very serious or concerned about this uh, conflict, they can control or they can neutralize within a day or also. This shows that they are not uh, concerned about the life of the people in Manipur. This clearly uh, concludes that they just think the people of North is a second citizen. So what we are concerned is, especially the youngsters, the dropout students who are uh, living in concentration camps, relief camps, who has a very uh, a very, very bad life where they have no more future. They, not only in concentrated uh, relief camps, there are so many students who are dropped out because of the non-functioning of the state government. So what we want is, what we want, what we really want is the involvement of the central government in containing and neutralizing the situation. They have sent thousands and thousands of rapid action force. They have sent thousands and thousands of rapid action force, but no positive result has been seen. No positive outcome has happened. So what we want is direct involvement of the central government. The Home Minister came in the month of June, and he has promised the community that I'll bring peace within 15 days. But it's all the four months gone. And no solution has been made in Manipur to bring peace. So this can be seen that the government is totally irresponsible. And several fake promises have been made to the people of Manipur, but no positive outcome has been witnessed till today. So what we want from the central government is please uh, think the people of Manipur as first class citizens, like you have think the mainland Indians. Uh, like for example, uh, right now the Cricket World Cup is going on, the Cricket World Cup 2023 is going on. They have uh, diverted focus attention to this Cricket World Cup. So these are entertainment, these are uh, games and sports, which they have a uh, concern. But on the other hand, Manipur, which is boiling since May 3rd, has not been uh, looked about. So what we want, what we thought, or what we uh, want from the central government is, please don't give fake promise. Please make a fruitful promise, a faithful promise, so that the citizen or the people of Manipur can uh, be brought back to normal life where peace and harmony prevails and where we continue our normal life. So that is something which I would like to say and uh, we also would like to thank uh, a North East Student Organization and Kasi Students Organization for organizing this uh, protest for the course of Manipur and also uh, fellow members who have gathered here uh, to show our solidarity uh, for the course of Manipur and we believe that we pray that uh, the central government will uh, gather into the problem of Manipur let there be peace uh, in Manipur so that the precious life of people who are uh, suffering in Manipur can uh, have a normal life so last but not the least uh, the silence of the Prime Minister is the loudest thank you Mr. Tongdelen Dongdel ends his speech by the silence of the Prime Minister is the loudest. Thank you, Mr. Changdelen Dongdel. That was a beautiful speech, President of the KSO. He had highlighted the problems faced by the 
communities involved in the ethnic strife that is happening in Manipur. And as we can see, as we can understand also that the government of India is much more concerned about cricket, is much more concerned about its diplomacy with Israel rather than the security and the lives of its citizens who are staying in Northeast India. It's more or less like Northeast India is out of its map. Now, I would like to call upon the president of the Kasi Students Union, Ba Lambok Starwell Marangar, to deliver his speech in front of all of us.